BetSedic pioneers new protections for Californians with disabilities. BetSedic provides justice for victims of home equity fraud. BetSedic makes a difference in the name of justice and freedom. Elena's case was the first trafficking case that BetSedic has handled. BetSedic's mission is to help people who can't get assistance elsewhere. Victims of labor trafficking truly exist in the shadows. Uh, other organizations are prohibited from helping people who are here under these circumstances, and we feel it's our obligation to be there for them. The U.S. State Department estimates 15,000 to 20,000 people are illegally trafficked every year to the United States. Los Angeles is the main point of entry for trafficked domestic workers. Yo soy de Perú. Vivimos en un pueblito cerca de Lima. La situación era mal porque no había mucho trabajo. Por eso quería ir a Estados Unidos para salir adelante por mi, mi familia, ¿no? La señora me prometió este, pagarme bien. Me iba a ayudar a traer a mis hijos, que me dijo que yo estaba yendo con visa legalmente. The trafficker was actually a professor who was from Peru, like Elena. However, she was from a higher social class in Peru and felt some sense of entitlement to treat Elena as if she were less than human. Me pegaba, me insultaba, me amenazaba, me tenía encerrado, uh, no me dejaba salir para nada, no quería que, que hable con nadie. Y... Muchas cosas que, 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 que a mí me duele decirlo porque yo en mi país nunca he tenido esa clase de humillaciones ni de golpe. Tantas cosas que me hizo la señora, me hizo tanto daño. Sí, mucho miedo le tenía, mucho miedo. Nunca tuve miedo a una persona, pero a ella sí le tuve mucho miedo. The professor took advantage of the fact that Elena didn't speak English and that she had no contacts in the United States. Siempre me amenazaba con quitar las, las cosas a mi familia en Perú. Elena was working almost 24 hours a day, and she was only paid $300 a month for her work. No sabía qué hacer, a quién pedir ayuda. Lo que hacía me sentaba, solo miraba al cielo, pedía a Dios, ayúdame, por favor. I originally met Elena when I moved into this fourplex right nearby USC. Y él siempre miraba lo que la señora me, me gritaba. The situation startled me. I couldn't believe anyone would ever do this sort of thing to another human being. I decided to talk to my parents about Elena's situation. And they told me about this nonprofit legal organization that helped people in her situation called Betsedic. Elena called using Alex's cell phone because she was terrified of using the home phone. Elena finally convinced her traffickers to let her out for a few hours. But she was under strict instructions not to speak to anyone. Elena was still scared of retaliation the first several times that I met with her, and so she was unwilling to leave the home at that point in time. One day I get this frantic call from a woman speaking in Spanish telling me that the professor drove Elena down to the Tijuana border. The professor was trying to have Elena deported back to Peru. The señor lo hizo para, para que no le denunciara. Elena was in custody for almost a full week while I was speaking to the FBI and to the Mexican government and to the government in D.C. to try and figure out a way to bring Elena back to the United States. Y cuando llegué a los Estados Unidos, de nuevo, Becky, mis amigas, me recibieron, me dieron un abrazo, me dijeron que todo va a salir bien, que me van a ayudar, que no estoy sola. After months of pretrial deliberations, Betzedek achieved justice for Elena. She received a significant monetary award that she's using to help her family. The U.S. Attorney's Office is now pursuing a criminal case against the professor. The most rewarding part of this all is to see Elena finally be happy and find her freedom, which is what this country is all about. Oh, 
I saw someone go from somebody who was isolated and terrified to someone who is trying to do everything she can to empower herself and to make a life for herself here in the United States that she'll be able to provide for her family. Elena's case was really a team effort. Uh, Becky led the charge with the pro bono support of Bird Morella. Uh, Dorothy Wolpert, who's a named partner there, gave of herself very generously. This case exemplified the best of Betzedek. Betzedek gets its name from Tzedek Tzedek Tierdorf, which means justice, justice you shall pursue. Gracias, Betzedek. Muchísimas gracias.